What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're just going to go through the process of making a video in Z Game Editor Visualizer, okay? Now I'm going to be working on a visual for my upcoming beat tape, Freshly Flipped. Um, so it's just going to be kind of like a beat promo visual, but the process that I do, you can use it for just regular beat visuals or any kind of visual you want to make inside here. So we're just going to go through it. I got Z Game Editor already pulled up here. Um, I put it on the master track. So yeah, make sure you put it on the master or like a second master where everything's going to. That way it can get all of the sound signals. Now, when you open it up, I like to right away put it in 60 frames and then also put on my aspect ratio. Now, since this is going to be for Instagram, it's going to be a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Just like that. Okay, so now we're ready to start actually putting stuff in. I'm going to go over to add content because I'm going to put in an image that I'm going to be using, which is the cover art for the beat tape. So we'll just go to add pictures. This PC, pictures, screenshots. Let's see. Here it is, freshly flipped. All right, now so now we're just going to add that image in. So we'll just go to this, then we'll go to image effects, image, and then image source, freshly flipped. All right, so now we're just going to see how we kind of want this. I'm going to do it over this beat. That's one of the beats on the beat tape. <laughs> I just put in HUD text. This allows me to use any font that I want. If you haven't seen my video on that, you can check that out in the top right corner right now if you want to watch that. But yeah, we're just going to put some text in here. Go to add content text. Just call this. It's going to look weird at first, but you'll be able to mess with it. Freshly flip. Okay, so we'll just have it that text line be it. And over here we can mess with this a little bit. So we're gonna put the font as Babis bold, font size, and then as you can see, it's not all um showing on the screen. So what I can do here is go to I can go to row width and I can drag it out so it's like this, and then now I can actually move it around. You know something like this and now actually what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna save this as a preset all right and I'm actually gonna open up a new a new template here uh, no and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to kind of have it like one of those old school um, like music commercials where it has like all of the tracks that it's featuring and just plays a little snippet of it. So how we can do that in FL Studio is a little more complicated, but the final product is dope. So we're going to open Z Game back on the master and put that preset on. And make it back 60 frames per second. Um, what do you take? Okay, so what we're going to need to do is put all of the beats in here that are on the tape. All right, so I got all of the beats in here, and um, what I'm gonna want to do is separate them so it's only oops, a few seconds each beat because I only want it up. We can only put it up to a minute for Instagram unless we want it on Instagram um, TV, which I don't really want it on that. Now this is very a very rough um, sketch here, so 
what we're going to want to do next is go back to Z game and I'm going to put some more effects on here real quick and then add some more text and we're going to start automating things. All right. So let's just put a few more effects on here. Like, um, put some audio shake on here. Probably also add another post process effect, which is the handheld. I'm also going to change this beat up here, use this slip tool, just drag in a different selection of the beat, something like. So now we want to add some more text here. So we'll go to text and we'll do, so each line represents a new line. So like when you hit enter, it's FL studio takes it as another part of text instead of it being just, um, an, an indented or a returned paragraph. So we're going to just hit enter here and type, um, featuring, type all the names all right just like that okay so now you may be asking how are we going to automate those texts well first we're going to want to automate the tempo um for each beat and have the tempo go to the tempo of that beat that way the uh the effects are right on tempo with the beat instead of it just being um with the master tempo Okay, so we're going to want to go to the first tempo of the first song. So it's 131. And as you see, it's going to change everything. That's why I said it was a rough um, rough sketch here. Okay, so 131. Now we're just going to want to highlight this area and then create that automation clip. Now this part of the beat is at that tempo. All right, so now when we go over to the jungle, we can move this over. Then this part is 130. So we just bring this down once and create an automation clip. Now this one's at 130. Drag it out to the length of it. Oops. See, since I moved that, I'm going to have to go to the front here, copy this value, and paste it here so it actually stays that same tempo value. Okay, now we can keep moving down. Enter the eye. So we just want to automate the volume now so it fades in and out. Um, so for each track, we'll just go in here, go into the wrench, and create an automation clip on this volume. Oops. Make sure you highlight the area. Now we can create an automation clip of the volume. Copy the value that it's in. And we can do some stuff like this. Okay, 
So yeah, we'll just do that with each one now. All right. Now we finally got the volume with the beats. It's a little bit of a process. It can be very tedious, but um, you can, you know, you do this if you want. I just like how the final product is. So let's let, let's see how this is um, going now. Obviously, the text isn't there. We need to automate the text, which that one is really simple. So you know what? We'll do that real quick. All we're going to have to do is go over to uh, the HUD text and then go over to where text line is at. And all we got to do is right click that and create an automation clip for the whole track. So about right here, we'll have it switch to the next one. All right, so now that we got the text line automated, there's one more thing we're going to do, and that's when it goes to the second line. We want to bring these all down in the middle. Um, so right about here, all the way to the end, we'll do we'll create an automation clip of the movement. So it'll be the uh, Y movement. We want to bring it down. So we're going to create an we're going to copy this initial value and then create an automation clip of the HUD text. <laughs> I just realized I had the wrong beat in here. This Legion beat. I'm gonna have to delete. That's not part of this beat tape. <laughs> Yo. Um. So that's my bad. Beat that's actually going to be a part of it is space race. So we'll just replace that. Now I think the last um, thing we should do here is just make the actual visual now look better. So there was a lot of automation process in this. And now you don't have to automate a lot. You don't got to do that. The potential of creativity for automating is there though. So keep it in mind. You can make some really dope stuff. We're going to add some background stuff. So I'm going to add another image effect image. But I'm going to bring this to the front here. So I can do shift left. Got to make sure I'm highlighted on the thing that I want. There we go. We're going to put it in the background and it's going to be the same image. We're going to make it kind of. Change it up a little bit. Yeah. Like that. That's dope. Now we can add another effect. Some kind of background effect. Do I want fog? Maybe this one. Let's bring this over.
so yeah that's pretty much it just a little um you know from start to finish a little promotional um visual now you can take these uh effects or any tips that you learned and do it for any kind of visual it doesn't got to be like this definitely get creative with the automation you can automate any single effect in here oops like you can automate any single effect so it's pretty dope keep that in mind but yeah guys if this video did help you out make sure you leave a like hit subscribe and hit the bell i really appreciate that guys until next time make sure you stay safe and you stay striving much love everybody peace